you can now generate 3D models with images with an open source large 3D generative model released by Microsoft called Trellis. And I have built a simple tool called Trellis3D.ai to help you go from text to image, image to 3D model very easily in a streamlined workflow. How's it going? Jasper from Nemo Codes here. And today, let me walk you guys through how to use Trellis3D.ai to go from text prompt to an image to your 3D model generation. And let's get started. So here you can access Trellis3D.ai from the URL. And here it is the homepage, the landing page, and also exactly where you're gonna start generating. So let's first enter a prompt to generate the image preview of that 3D model that you want. Let's let's say I want a samurai mecha. Um, so I expect something like a Gundam, but samurai. And now we'll be generating the preview. Okay, this one doesn't have any texture, so I can regenerate the preview until I find one that I'm happy with. So this one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to use it to generate the 3D model. And there will be a loading screen here. Um, so before you generate a 3D model, if you're not logged in, it will be a simple sign up form for you to quickly log in. And once you log in, the generation will kick off. Um, and then it takes about I would say 10 to 20 seconds to generate the model, depending on how busy the service is um, and also how complex your mesh is. So this one looks pretty complex, but now it's done. It's around 10 seconds. And here you have the 3D model in a 3D model viewer. Um, you can zoom in um, and then you can rotate the model. Um, you can also view that in wireframe mode to see the mesh quality. Um, it looks pretty good, pretty clean. So if you want to edit, for example, this sword is pointing uh, to a different direction. If you you want to do some edits to the model, you can simply download the model from here. Or if you want to use the model straight away, you can download that from here and it will be a GLB format. Um, but if you want to try a different image preview, simply come back here, generate a new preview, and then hit generate 3D model again to generate that mod, uh, a new model. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. And then the wireframe one looks pretty good. And then I can simply just download the model when I'm happy. This is it, very simple workflow. Go from text prompt to image preview. Once you're happy with the image preview, start generating the 3D model um, until you're happy. And then you can download the 3D model, put it in your 3D software um, for any 3D project that you're working on or, or any game projects that you're working on. And my name is Jasper from Nemo Codes. Try the tool out. Uh, it is free to try. Um, let me know what you think. Until next time, ciao.